My name is Roland and uh, at the moment I'm the warden of a Quaker meeting house. But I have been a teacher, a research psychologist, a software engineer and a management consultant. So, yeah. I'm not quite sure why I signed up for it. Um, I was very confused. Uh, I my, didn't know where my career was going, what I was doing. I started to ask for, for a few people, um, one of whom turned out was on the sort of leadership course at that time. Um, and they said, yeah, you should do it. I still wasn't convinced. I spoke with um, one of the leaders, the, the then leaders, and I almost decided not to. Um, but it was one of those situations where you expect barriers to be put in place, and they weren't. You know, I was sort of pushing against something that wasn't there. So I eventually decided, yes, OK, we'll go for it. And taking a risk, I wasn't sure what I was letting myself in for, where it was going. Um, but it's one of those things where you think, well, hey, what the hell, let's do it. So I did. That's another big question. Um, <laughs> because, as I say, at the time, I was fairly confused, very frustrated with where I was going and what I was doing. And through the course, I've come to terms with that, um, in, centred down, settled on a direction which makes sense for me. Um, it's made quite a big difference to my private life, because my uh, wife has Parkinson's disease, uh, which is not curable, and I was looking at giving up my whole career and the things that I'm used to doing. I know that I'm going to have to look after Trish full time at some point, and coming to terms with that has been very difficult, but the people on the course have helped me think that through and to do very much better, I hope. It's been an immense journey. Um, it's the only way I can describe it. Uh, there have been lots of transitions, smaller transitions which felt big at the time throughout the course. And then of course there have been other things going on around at the same time. So it, it's been a transition after transition and that has really, well, it's turned me around. Uh, one of my friends said I, I'm a different person now from when I went on the course. So what do they mean when they say you're different? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> what do people mean when they say these strange things to you? Um, I think she went out, I was become more mellow, more gentle. I don't feel gentle at all. And well, the most important part of the programme for me has been the individual little exercises. The theory and the language and all that stuff has, has, has sort of gone over my head. But the, there was one particular exercise where I was being asked the same question over and over again. And that really got through to me and took me to a much deeper place than I could ever have gone on my own or otherwise. So now that was very important. It's a standard sort of question, it's, it's, the, it's a variation on the five whys question that, that everybody knows about, but this one really went home. Woodbrook is a very special place. Um, I've been coming here, I think I probably came sometime in the very early 1960s as a very young person, teenager, probably, possibly even in my 20s. So I've had a long association with, with Woodbrook, I know how special it is. Um, so an opportunity to go to Woodbrook, yeah, go for it, no question. Um, my problem is, is picking the right time and the right place to come to Woodbrook. I suppose every generation thinks it's in a, in a, a state of crisis. And certainly when uh, we were worrying about things like the Cuban crisis and, and Hiroshima and so on, it, it felt like a very crisis -y time. I think the world today is in a, a different sort of crisis we have, uh, perhaps most dramatically, the, the threat of climate change. But I'm absolutely convinced that the only way to get through, through climate change, to, to ward off its worst effects, to survive out of the other side, is that we have to work together. 
And this is one of those courses where we, as a, a team, as a cohort, have worked together and are continuing to work together. And I am absolutely convinced that if the British Parliament were working as we've done in this course, Brexit would have been solved years ago. Where this course, I think, has most impact, most initially the most impact, is on the everyday uh, work of people in, the, in their workplace, whether it's a charity or public service or whatever. In that workplace, they're meeting and working with people and to take some of the, the skills and the experience, most importantly, the experience of working in this way, in this sort of way, in their workplace, I believe will absolutely transform how we do our work in, in a small way. I've been funded two ways, well, three ways, partly self-funded, but um, Woodbrook, um, I have a Woodbrook bursary which paid the lion's share, and then I also had a small grant from my local Quaker meeting. Um, and those two things really made the whole thing possible, because as a, a warden of a Quaker meeting house, I'm not exactly Paul Getty. No, I think that, that was the thing, having that, that extra money really made the whole thing possible, made it work. Uh, yes. I think it's been critical for me to come facing the, the uncertainty, the risk, not knowing what I was going into, but at the same time keeping an open mind. Okay, I don't understand this, but let's go with it and see where it leads me. Without that, if I just shut down and said, I'm not going to do this stupid exercise, it wouldn't have, have helped at all. So I think, yeah, the ability to take a risk, a personal risk, both to come and to go deeper into yourself, and the openness to, to allow yourself to be led and, and to, to benefit from the course, from the silly things that one does. Yes. So... There you go. Come on the course. <laughs> <laughs>